Hey, God bless you, name by name and person by person. Welcome to the Daily Reminder. We want to encourage you to hang here with us for just a few moments. Uh, once again, this gives us an opportunity to share a verse or two as you start your day, hopefully something that uh, you can kind of chew on and ponder and think about as you walk through your day. I love this verse. This is in Hebrews 2 and 1. The writer says, Therefore we ought to give the more earnest heed to those things which we have heard, lest at any time we should let them slip. Through the New Testament writers, we are encouraged, commanded really, to be positioned, to be reminded of those things uh, which we have heard, which we have been taught, which we have studied. Uh, Peter says, when I remind you, it keeps you awake, it keeps you stirred up. Paul said, when I'm reminding you, it's safe for you. And the writer of Hebrews says, listen, if you're not being reminded of those things, if you're not giving them more earnest heed and thinking about and, and remembering and being reminded of those things, they could slip. They could slip away. And so, again, it's from that position that uh, we've come to you today. So in the book of Haggai, interesting, I don't have a, I don't, you know, you know how short these are, but very quickly, God has released Israel 16 years earlier out of Babylonian captivity to go back into Jerusalem and build a house, the house of the Lord once again. Well, they get into it, they lay the foundation, and the Bible says there was some opposition, there was some adversity that rose up, and they laid down the building of the house of the Lord for 16 years. God sends the prophet Haggai. Let me read a few verses for you. Haggai chapter 1. Then the word of the Lord came by Haggai the prophet, saying, Is it time for you yourselves to dwell in your panel houses and this temple to lie in ruins? Now, therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. You've sown much, you bring in little. You eat, but you do not have enough. You drink, but you are not filled with drink. You clothe yourselves but none of you are warm. He who earns wages, earns wages to put them into a bag with holes. Thus says the Lord, consider your ways. Listen, the assignment was to build something, and we see this in Haggai 2. We're going to get to it. The assignment was to build something that would reveal God's glory. The assignment was to build something in their day and time, this temple, that was going to reveal the glory of God. Listen, anytime you and I decide we're going to do something for the Lord, opposition is going to rise up. Adversity is going to rise up. And what happened in this story is for 16 years, they laid down the building of the temple of God, the house of God, and they built their own thing. They built their own thing. Now, the Bible says this in Proverbs 14 and verse 12. And again, it's in Proverbs 16 and verse 25. There's a way that seems right unto a man, but in the end thereof is the way of death. What happened to Israel happens to you and I from time to time. Instead of building God's thing, we build our thing. Instead of guilt building God's kingdom, we get stuck in building our kingdom. Instead of building God's dream, we build our dream. Again, this, this was something that they were commanded to build to reveal his glory. You can see this in the second chapter when God looks at Israel and says, listen, I know those of you that saw, the older generation that saw Solomon's temple in all its glory, this small piddlance of what's happening right now seems as nothing. But the glory of this latter house shall far exceed that of the former house. And we really believe that again today. God is wanting to build something to reveal his glory. He's not using brick. He's not using stone. He's not using mortar. He's not using timber. He's using the lives of people. We want to be a people investing in one another. That's what God has always been building from the cross of Jesus. He builds his people. He builds his glory. He builds his image into his people. So then the question is, what are we building today? Are we building our thing? Are we building God's thing? Have we allowed adversity or opposition to so push us to the side and so detour us that we've got on a track that God has never called us to be on and we're building something and it may be good, but according to Solomon, in the end of it, there's no life, it's just death. We want to be building God's thing. We want to be building God's dream. We want to be building God's kingdom. There is a glory from Almighty God that he wants to reveal in our day and time. He wants us to be a part of that. God bless you. We'll catch you next time.